Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm, I'm here. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be trying out this Instagram hack that I seen and it looked really interesting. Honestly, it doesn't look like something I would do on a regular basis or something that I would even try, but like I'm into trying things lately, so I wanted to hop on camera and try it with you guys. The girl that like invented this little method is named Selma. I'll put her Instagram down below in the description box. And she's been doing this a lot on Instagram and I was like, let me try it. Her makeup looks flawless. Like she does makeup on other people and it comes out really nice like on camera. So I wanna see if it comes out nice like in person. We'll see, it's really crazy. So the trend is that you put red lipstick on your cheeks, like red liquid lipstick on your cheeks first before anything. And then you put on like contour and then you do your foundation on top and everything is supposed to look really flawless and nice and like natural kind of looking. I don't know. We're gonna try it out right now. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is actually apply a primer. I'm gonna use my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. This is one of my favorite. I'm just gonna put that on. I already moisturized and everything like that. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. I did a little bun. You guys like my little bun? I might do a tutorial on this. Let, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on my little bun. So just to blur my pores, I'm going to use my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And I'm just going to put this in the center of my nose. How have you guys been? It's been a while. Talk to me in the comments because I do miss you guys. I've been really busy with like the baby and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to get better at filming more consistently but it's really hard like she's eight months now and she's getting active and i feel like when they get older it just gets a little bit harder to do things but i'm getting there so looking at the video it looks like she yep she started off with a red bright red liquid lipstick so i'm gonna use the amore matte lip cream by milani and this is how it looks it's like a berry red so she applied it like right here. So that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna take a little um, blending brush and just blend it up. It looks like she just blended it upwards and kind of split it. And then she put some here and then here too. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I hope this doesn't stain my face. Alright, now I'm gonna do the other side. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm wiping off the brush a little bit. Just to get some of the product off. I really feel like this is gonna stain my face, but. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose too because I like blush on my nose, so we're gonna just put some there. Okay, so the next step is to put concealer under the eyes and underneath the red parts of my face. <laughs> I look really crazy. My Maybelline Age Rewind Instant Eraser. My favorite concealer. Okay, we're just gonna apply this right underneath my eye this is kind of dry because um i don't have the top i don't want to mess with that because i feel like it's gonna be hard to blend out i'm gonna use my la pro concealer in the color fawn right here for the concealer part and then she put it underneath here and then here. So now I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna go in and blend out this concealer. Yeah. I really miss using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's just so nice. I'm gonna blend this out. Look at this. Underneath there. So she also contoured with the Huda Beauty Tantor. So I'm going to use that too. 
I'm gonna use this in the color medium though. It looks like she used like a flat, kind of like a flat brush like this. This is a MAC 190. I'm gonna do that as well. I'm just gonna put it on like this, put it here, 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 hmm, here, I think here. And then she put it on the side of the nose. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. I do like this Tantor by Huda Beauty though. It's really nice. Then I'm just gonna go in and do the nose very lightly. I don't need too much. And then she also did here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the contour because I'm assuming that's what she did. Okay, so next is foundation. I'm gonna use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color New Caledonia. I love this foundation. It looks really skin-like. Um, and it looks like she just kind of pumped it on the side. I know people do this just for Instagram, but we're gonna follow her steps. You just kind of, she kind of just swiped it. I wonder if this is just gonna cover it or like, I'm just gonna blend it out with my, um, what is this? My sponge. So, um, to me, the foundation just kind of covered what we just put down. Um, maybe you're supposed to use like a lighter kind of coverage foundation, but she used a lot of foundation now. I just feel like, I just feel like all of that work was done for nothing just now, but we'll see. We'll see. And I'm using like a lot more foundation than I would normally. Um, yeah, the foundation is really dark. First of all, okay. Let's. Okay, <laughs> let's just assess it. Even though this foundation is way too dark for me right now, like I'm aware, I can fix that. Like right now, you cannot see anything that we put down. Like the, the red um, lipstick, you can't even see that. You can see my concealer a little bit underneath my eyes, but you can't see anything. I feel like I would need to use like a more sheer foundation for you to see anything that I put down. I mean, you can kind of see a little bit of my blush coming through, but the fact that she put so much foundation, I don't know, I don't know how this would really work. The foundation kind of just covered up everything. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, as I'm doing my makeup, I'm honestly not gonna lie, I actually like it. She didn't show like the finishing steps or whatever, but I'm not even gonna lie. I actually do like how my face looks right now. It looks very filter-esque. It looks very airbrushed. Um, okay, I just feel like I would have to add some bronzer because I did add some more concealer. The only thing about this method I don't really, I'm not feeling is using so much product. like. 
I don't like the fact that you have to use so much stuff, but I get it though, I get it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. And I'm gonna put that right on top of the blush. I can really see the blush now, like, or the lipstick. Um, now that I applied concealer and stuff like that. But I just wanna add a little bit more bronziness to my face. Already, like, my face is already a little bronzy from the red lipstick and the contour underneath, but I just want to be a little bit more extra. I'm going to put it down the sides of my nose. So I think she used liquid highlight, but I'm going to go ahead and use my glow kit from Anastasia, my fave, and I'm going to use a little fan brush. I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color, it's their Less Chocolate Collection, okay? It's some brown lipstick. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that on. Okay, so this is the final look. I do look a little tomato-y, like a little bit more bronzy than I would prefer in person. But honestly, it does still look nice. Like, I'm just being super picky right now. Um, My makeup still looks flawless. The contour and the highlight and stuff didn't cake up around the liquid lipstick. I kind of thought it would, but it, it really didn't. It's sitting really nicely. My face looks like it's sitting, okay? I would not suggest this for everyday makeup at all, but if you do want to play around and see how your face looks in different products and you like playing in makeup and you just want to see if you could do it, like me, <laughs> um, try it out. Honestly, it does look, it does look nice. It looks nice. And it's not like I'm sitting here trying to convince myself. It's more like I was, I'm was i trying to figure it out in my head, like how it still looks good. Hmm. Um, I did have to add a lot more products. Like I said earlier, I don't like the fact that this method uses so much products. Like I buy some of my products. So the fact that I have to use like so much concealer underneath my eye makes me not want to do this again, but it does look good. It looks good for like Instagram photos because it's pretty heavy. Too. So um, let me know what you want me to try in the next video. I'm going to be trying things because I'm like bored honestly of making YouTube videos like regular makeup tutorials. So let me know what you want me to try next even if it's a product like a new product, um, a method, anything. Let me know just as long as it's makeup or skincare related I will try it if it makes sense to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video with a friend if you thought it was interesting, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.